Well, Angie, it's really great to, to welcome you virtually to our virtual gathering uh, this <laughs> evening. And um, it's just been extraordinary times for, for everyone. And um, we were wondering kind of how it's been being a student at Theological College um, during, uh, during lockdown. So um, are you happy to share a bit of that with us tonight? Yes, of course. So um, uh, when we came, all came back in September, we were managing to do face-to-face -face lectures and, and the college was divided into two groups and we would worship together in the church and the chapel. But obviously that all came to an end with the latest lockdown. So um, everything's gone online. So we've been doing our, all our classes online, uh, all our socialising online, and, uh, and also all our worshipping online. Um, the worshipping has been really important. We've had every day, uh, once a day and some days twice a day, we all come together. Um, and that's what's really been kept us cohesive as a community. That's what's held us together is, is that being able to worship together. And of course, before when we were worshipping in person, we were all that far away from each other and with face masks on so now we actually get to see what we all look like and <laughs> yeah it's lovely and people's children and pets and everyone joins in it's really nice yeah great great and I, I guess you, you've got um, students joining in from all over the place because actually there are very few of you actually at college at the moment physically aren't they yeah, that's right yeah we're scattered far and wide so lots of, especially the solo students lots of them haven't haven't come back after christmas so they went home to family and they've they've just stayed there and others are, are sort of scattered around um yeah so it, it's so important that we are, are having our online time together yeah yeah right. lovely <laughs> Well, I also know from speaking to you um, that that sort of since you've known where you're coming, you've um, you really managed to, to pick up some great opportunities for, for additional training last autumn. And, and I just wondered if you could share a couple of, 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 of points about that, say, um, uh, with with everyone tonight. Yeah, happy to. So, yeah, once once I knew and I had that sort of excitement bubbling up inside me about coming over to Herefordshire, um, I wanted to try and and sort of tailor as much as I could what I was doing here to towards um, specifically that. So, um, I attached myself to uh, there's a rural youth support team, um, and they they offer um, usually they would be doing lots of drop-ins and street work where they go around to. So different villages in the area here um, often often you can find there's a lack of support for for young people in rural areas um, so they're really filling a gap um, I haven't been able to do the street work with them as yet but uh, we're hoping after Easter I'm going to be able to do a lot more of that sort of thing with them um, but we were running the support groups all through lockdown so that's been fantastic um, also I did uh, as a piece of training called mental health first aid training. Um, I think so many of us are going to find that our mental health has been really affected by everything that's happened in the last year. Um, and, and a lot of that might start to show even afterwards. Um, so I thought it can't really do any harm to just have more awareness and more understanding um, of that. Um, and also, <laughs> slightly left field. Um, one of my placement supervisors has arranged me to spend two days in a crematorium. So <laughs> it's many and varied to the opportunities I have. <laughs> Excellent. No, that, that sounds fantastic, Angie. And um, well, I think we, we, we wish you well and hope and pray that, that come, come Easter and beyond that you might be able to have at least the, your last final weeks in college is, as being you know some way back to to what that normal life should be and um and we're, we're just all very much looking forward to to welcoming you here a bit later in the summer thank you i'm so much looking forward to joining you all thank you